Okay. Cluster before. <gasps> yeah. I, I haven't. You before. can have one. Wait, there's different flavors. Like this one's the wait, better one. I think sure. that one's the better. One. Really? Like, is it different scary. flavors? It's really good. It's like you said, it gives cancer, right? Yeah, like the red. <laughs> Round two. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! She didn't say that. She did say it. No, no, no she did. Say, she did say it. Two. I. I just watched the clip before. Yeah, like the red round two. See, see. She did say it. Yes, she did say it. Oh my god. To be fair, it's, to be fair, it's funny because it's like it would be so like it would be so sad. I'm, I don't need to explain it. It's crazy that you said it though. I have the pass. Pass what? I have the cancer pass. Why? Because I had it before. What you did? Yeah, I was very gentle. <laughs> what, what do you mean? It was very gentle. It was like stage one. Do you want to talk about it? No. Well, I don't care if I talk about it. It wasn't a big deal. Poggers, dude. Are you uncomfortable? A little bit. Why? I don't know. I wasn't even close to dying, if that helps. Okay. Okay. Well, which one was it? Stomach. Okay. And it was very, so, very early. I didn't even have to get chemo. How did you even find it? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, because this like, is actually I'm, pretty funny. <laughs> I'm like, if, if I had anything right now, I yeah. wouldn't know. Because it's like, I wouldn't see a reason why I would go to the doctor. Yeah. Well, it's like, I go to the doctor every now and then, right? But I never get, like, deep checked, everything checked. Yeah, I know. So I found it. it I got, like, pink <laughs> eye. You know, pink eye. Okay. My, my eye was fucked up. And at the same time, I was, like, coughing a lot. I was, like, throwing up a lot. Like, during yeah. that time. And I was just, like, pretty uncomfy. And so I get my eye checked. And they're, like, come back in a week to get your second eye checkup. And so the next yeah. time, between that week, I was throwing up blood. And I was, like... Pretty sure I'm not supposed to be throwing up blood. I thought I had food poisoning, but I was like, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be throwing up blood. So I might as well just like bring it up to the doctors, be like, hey, like, do you have like any antibiotics if I'm throwing up blood? But so they checked it and they were like, no, throwing up blood is very bad. So they checked me, they sent me to a specialist. I checked it and they're like, yeah, you have, you have stage one cancer. And I was like, oh. Sh oh my God. I heard the craziest story now on Reddit. What? Well, I saw it on TikTok, but it was like a Reddit story that you just reminded me of where I was like, I'm like genuinely afraid nowadays to like get checked by doctors and they are like just like swindling me into believing that I have like a certain disease or whatever. What? Why would they because... do that? Now listen to this, because apparently uh, years ago, there used to be a doctor in Michigan who would always falsely diagnose patients to have cancer. Oh, to and get more money. On, like, yes, and he would put them on like medication and the, all this kind of stuff to like get load of money uh, although they were never sick but either way they are you know stressed about it and like thinking oh my god i have it mm -hmm. um and it literally took years until it uh well it came to light because at some point um somebody once again almost fell victim for being falsely diagnosed for having cancer but um uh that patient was like what ain't no way there is no reason why i should be sick so they took um they took advice from a different doctor and that doctor was like hey there is no way in the world that this doctor believes that you have cancer who is that person i want to like speak to them and that's how like over the years oh my it, like, god it came to light and it was like millions of dollars and hundreds of patients over like a span of plus 10 years it's insane that's like, pretty that scary yeah it was a reddit story and i watched it on mm -hmm. tiktok but seeing that i believed it because i was like holy shit. and apparently it's like it, it, it was like in the news or like whatever. Yeah. Like it was a massive insurance scam. And now imagine how many people like fell victim for it. Well, you don't have to be like, scared saying... though. Because you like, well, now you know from that story that you should be cautious, but you should go to a doctor. If anything, go to a second doctor just to check. I right? mean, yeah, true. But it's like, it, it's it's like that story truly gave me like, man, if, if I ever have anything and like your doctor's telling me I have something, I really have to like check somebody else because... The reason why I came to light is like the person never brought up when they got a second opinion. They brought it up after the fact, after they got like checked, like, hey, nothing's oh. wrong with you, type thing, which is crazy. Arthur Gaston yeah. by TikTok. No, no, no. There, like, uh, there was like actually like Google, like, Michigan doctor 
scamming, uh, cancer, whatever. Something like that. Insurance. Scary. Buy Hoskins. It's insane. That is scary. Buy Hoskins. So yeah, you should be, be careful. Just sentence oncologist who has sentenced to 45 years. Wait, I need to scroll back up. Sentenced to 45 years in prison for fraudulently diagnosing patients with cancer. Damn. Yes. We have the same initials, me and that doctor. That was like three, four years ago. Isn't that insane? Yeah, that's pretty insane. Yeah. No, this is two friends hanging out stream. Sorry. What? Who are you responding to? Oh, Holy Arthur, is this a dating stream? Damn, you are so right about what you said earlier. What? What did I what? say? About how like people will just see two, like a guy and a girl. Yes. Because how sad of a date would this be? I don't want to do a date on stream, watching clip cue, talking about cancer. I, like, the fuck? Wait, are you telling me this sucks right now? No, I'm having just... having a good time? No, I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. I'm having a really good time. I'm having a really... I'm that having a lot of fun. very hurtful. No, like, I'm I, having a really good time. I'm super happy. But not for a date. I think anything could be a good date. As long as it's with the right person. Okay, why do you have to make me look bad? You did this to yourself. No, I didn't. I'm did. just pointing it out. I'm just trying to... I'm just I trying... apologize for pointing it out. However, I wasn't the one saying it. Okay. Okay, fine. Are, like, w w would you do this on a date? No, this isn't working out. On stream. Let's Not continue with watching me. clips. I'm I'm sorry. It's like I'm sorry. It's like it, it's funny uh -huh. because I'm really joking. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, understood. You wanna you you wanna just keep watching? Sorry, I need to type in your chat. In my chat? Yeah. <laughs> They're making fun of me. Wait, what? Do you see my chat separately? No, I was opening it on my phone. <laughs> but why do you need to type in my chat? Well, I need to go to, go in your chat. Can you type in your own chat? Yeah. Wait, do you see this? Yes. What did I say? <laughs> Test. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> I mean in chat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're so, you think you're so funny again. This is. <laughs> it's bad. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue.